Good afternoon, my name is Mikhail Naidunov from Bulgaria, national uh, security expert. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, need for Bulgaria to have its own strategy to counter hybrid threats. As hybrid war waged by the Kremlin, by the Kremlin is the most uh, serious challenge to our national security, we should finally and definitely uh, have our own strategy written document uh, that will guide the process of making the country resilient enough and strong enough to oppose uh, hybrid uh, threats. First, uh, we need to say that uh, Bulgaria up until now has updated to a great extent its conceptual and strategic basis uh, starting from the national security strategy which was updated and hybrid threats uh, uh, are already there. There is enough reference uh, on hybrid threats there and uh, our national defense strategy is also updated. But I think uh, we should do more in order to be better prepared and uh, taking the example of NATO which has its own strategy to ha counter hybrid threats and given the work, the amount of work uh, which is implemented at the EU level, it is high time for Bulgaria to have it, uh, its own document. I would propose uh, uh, several chapters to be included in this document, so that uh, this is a really working document. First of all, of course, is uh, introduction of the document, and uh, from this part, uh, people should be made aware what is hybrid war, what are hybrid threats and uh, what are the objectives. And then the essence should be pointed out that hybrid war is not declared, instead it is being fought. And in this case uh, it is a war of perceptions and uh, state leadership and society must be aware that uh, it is under hybrid war, under hybrid attack and not to wait for any official declaration of war or proclamation of war, etc., etc. That uh, we should uh, start defending now uh, ourselves so that uh, we could uh, be uh, resilient enough and a uh, member of the EU and NATO which is strong enough and uh, not uh, finally uh, our defense should be strong enough against uh, the Kremlin's uh, aggressive moves. Second, so there should be a chapter, very detailed chapter, dedicated on analyzing the security environment, uh, especially the security environment following the 2014 illegal and illegitimate annexation of uh, Crimea by the Russian Federation. We should uh, especially pay attention to the Black Sea and the uh, balance of powers, which is now tilted very strongly in favor of Russia and uh, unfortunately uh, to our greatest disadvantage and to the disadvantage of NATO as well. We have not only the Russian Navy but also Russian militarization of Crimea and the so-called A2 AD capabilities, anti-axis area denial capabilities and the bubble that Russia is uh, making uh, to the, uh, to stop, to prevent the access of NATO forces in case of uh, crisis. And uh, in this case, our Article 5 is commitment is uh, put under question because if NATO could not come uh, in time to support a member under attack, then uh, I think uh, Russia would have achieved uh, almost all of its objectives. Another chapter in this strategy should be dedicated especially to the national vulnerabilities uh, to hybrid threats and I may say that this is the most specific and detailed chapter of the future strategy. We should start first uh, with uh, the interference, intervention of uh, foreign powers in the Bulgarian internal political processes and all the political factors in Bulgaria that are under Russian or anybody else's influence and used for hybrid warfare purposes. Second, the activity of the foreign intelligence uh, services against Bulgaria. There should be, we should be crystal clear that this problem exists and uh, this should be named 
this problem and uh, measures should be developed in order to effectively counter such hostile activity. Media manipulations, uh, you, you know that uh, hybrid war is a war of perceptions, war of informa uh, information and media, social media uh, is used, are used as tool for uh, subversive uh, foreign impacts. Another uh, area which is uh, alarming enough here is the concentration and the lack of enough transparency regarding ownership of uh, Bulgarian media. If we do not have enough clarity on who is the real owner of the media, then uh, we are potentially very seriously threatened uh, from hybrid media uh, subversive actions. Energy dependence on Russia has always been a uh, way to uh, subvert Bulgarian sovereignty and to impose the will of, the, of Moscow in Bulgaria. This should be enough uh, considered in uh, this strategy. Economic relations come afterwards uh, and uh, corruption and organized crime, I may say, is a different uh, is another tool, corruption and organized crime, which could be used for the purpose of a Russian hybrid activity. And uh, here you have also the deficit of the rule of law. The more deficient is the rule of law, then the wider is opened the door for hostile foreign interference. And uh, Russia knows very well how to uh, make use both of organized crime, corruption and efficiency in rule of law in order to exert influence. Uh, we should also pay attention to the Russian uh, subversive activity against uh, building strong Bulgarian defense, which is a separate topic that deserves special attention. We have uh, the activity of Russian paramilitary formations in Bulgaria, which is a very serious if issue that should make us all concerned. You have also the vulnerabilities of critical infrastructure, cyber attacks, and last but not least, uh, illegal migration and use of uh, minorities to conduct uh, uh, foreign interference in Bulgaria. Having uh, paid attention to all the national vulnerabilities, we should move to the next chapter, which is uh, dedicated on the ways and means to overcome these vulnerabilities and to protect our country. And area by area there should be concrete measures elaborated and put in place and uh, implemented. One chapter that should be uh, really uh, find its place in this strategy is cooperation and coordination, which means first enough interagency coordination because uh, dealing with hybrid threats is a whole of society, whole of nation, nation effort. And second, we should uh, pay attention to the coordination with NATO, with our allies and with the European Union. This should be a constant process of cooperation and exchanges of information and best practices. We should have also a chapter dedicated on resources because a strategy without uh, resources is only a paper tiger. And uh, then uh, we should be uh, have enough clarity uh, regarding what resources do we have, uh, not only money, but people, institutions, and uh, will of the society to be mobilized and to uh, defend our country effectively and efficiently. And finally, this strategy should be seen as a live document, which means that it should be periodically updated. And this should be the last chapter of uh, this document, periodic review and update of the strategy. In conclusion, I may say that uh, this strategy is absolutely necessary and now it is high time to have it. And uh, starting the work on its uh, elaboration and adoption will for sure uh, provoke political tensions and many pro-Russian politicians or some of them which are still hidden 
will finally reveal their uh, faces and uh, the opposition to uh, having such a document will finally show the depth and the width of the Russian penetration in Bulgaria. Thank you.